Here's today's painting. So we're gonna go through uh, step by step how to go and recreate something that looks just like this. Uh, I'll put a big disclaimer right up front. This isn't a full blown stencil tutorial. I do have a link up on the screen right now for you to a previous tutorial I've done on how I make my stencils. It was one of the first videos I've ever made, so it's a bit dated. I'm definitely due for an update stencil tutorial, but I'm gonna give you a quick little overview because some sort of stencil is gonna be required for today's painting. I printed the wolf image just on a piece of computer paper, and there's really two ways that I know how to make a stencil. Uh, one is going to be a li little bit more uncommon. It's using this acetate film. I actually bought this at an art store. Uh, it was quite expensive. I got a big old roll of the stuff. Uh, and this is kind of key uh, to the first method, which is the one that I usually use. So from my roll, I would just get kind of a, a plastic sheet big enough to fit over this image. Then I'm going to go ahead and tape it down. Um, I'll also say I don't really know what to call this other than acetate film, uh, stenciling film. Uh, you can try to look at arts and craft stores uh, or different venues online. I just bought this a long time ago, so I don't really know where to actively find it. Once you've got it taped on, the second item you need for, for my method of stenciling is this really just a soldering iron slash heat tool. Uh, you can get these anywhere from Walmart to different craft stores as well. I've chosen one with a nice little pointy tip. And once I've got my image and my acetate film taped down, I go ahead and plug this in. It's a variable heat setting. It's really just a cheap little uh, tool, but I crank it up somewhere near the top and I let it warm up for quite a few minutes. From there, I'm basically just going to come in once it's hot, and I'm just gonna demonstrate, I've actually already cut this out. Uh, for today's tutorial, I'm not gonna go through the whole process of making the stencil. Um, you're gonna go in, and because we actually want the shape of the wolf is what we're actually gonna use, we're not gonna use the center uh, part to spray the image on. Uh, we actually just wanna cut along the outside edges this will glide nice and easy once it's heated up through this acetate film. It's really easy to control. It's quite quick. And you just go around these edges, even with these little details, you can get all those in there. And you go around the whole image. And once you've done that, uh, you go ahead and take out the center piece of film. Obviously this has been spray painted so far, uh, but you can see the details, even down to the fur and different things. Um, this is a really convenient, uh, quicker, and I think better way for stenciling. It's what I prefer, but I totally understand. It's a bit of an investment. You have to go try to find this stuff, get a heat tool, find a little proper tip and practice with this. It can be as easy as taking the printed image, taking a glue stick or some kind of glue or even tape and taping it down onto a piece of regular poster board, the stuff we use to paint with. Um, from there, you can take a hobby knife. I always recommend being very careful with either of these tools because they can both be quite dangerous. And you're gonna go around along the outer edges of the poster board and slowly work your way around, cutting out the image, going all the way through the poster board. Um, this will tend to have you know, a few more straight lines. It takes a little bit more care and a little bit more practice to get really, really clean results. This kind of just glides around corners and, and can make some really, really cool, you know, hard turns and little detailed effects. And in the end, I find this acetate film um, both poster board and this film will build paint over time and it'll become a little bit more sturdy, less bendy. Uh, I do find that this acetate film will last a lot longer uh, over time than the poster board will. A few more uses you can get out of it. There's the gist on how to get through the stencil aspect. Really don't overthink this. It doesn't have to be a wolf. It could be something extremely simple. If you don't have access to a printer, you could draw something. We're just looking for something in the shape of whatever you want in your painting that's gonna block out paint from going on top of the black silhouette. So 
Uh, that's what we're gonna use. If you're interested in a more detailed stencil tutorial for spray paint art, leave a comment down below. I think that's one video I'm overdue for. Uh, on that same note, if there's something you're struggling with, uh, and you'd like to see covered here on the channel, make sure you drop a comment. It's the best way for me to get ideas, find out what you guys actually want to see, uh, and kind of cater the channel to that whenever possible. So without further ado, we're going to hop right into today's painting. The basic setup here is that you have already viewed and uh, studied the beginner spray paint art tutorial series up to this point. So I'm not going to cover in very, very uh, fine detail how to make a planet uh, how to do certain aspects of the painting because this is going to be required learning up to this point. If you're just hitting this channel up, go back and start with the beginner spray paint art tutorial series uh, and catch up to this point and it might be a little bit more helpful. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a complex piece, uh, it's fairly beginner level and it can definitely add a new layer to your black and white spray paint art pieces. So we're just going to lay down our wolf stencil somewhere in the foreground here missed it with some black spray paint to get the outline of where we want it to sit. Then once we pull that off, we're going to go in with just a very, very fine layer of black spray paint. I am painting this one on a very small canvas. Uh, if you're using poster board, you might not have to use as much paint as you see me using. I'm just getting an even coat, filling in the textures here of the canvas. And I'm just going to mock up my stencil, make sure all the pieces are covered. Um, wind up having to add a bit more in here to make sure we have that even coverage. I'm gonna go along because it's a canvas and just black out the edges. It uh, gives it a little bit more of a finished look in the end and it's something you wanna consider at the beginning of the painting. What are you gonna do with the edges of the canvas? I will say after this stage, I let this painting dry for probably 30 minutes. Uh, I really ensured that that black spray paint underneath uh, was completely dried before going on to this step and laying my stencil down. So I'm going to lay that wolf down all over the black areas. I'm going to pop my planet stencil overlapping on top of kind of that wolf's basically its head and I'm going to go ahead and outline where that moon is going to be. Uh, this part I really really worked just a light amount of paint. Uh, I want this moon to be very very bright. Uh, so I'm just going to work in uh, some light, light, light black. It probably looks a little thicker than it actually is, just really kind of slowly adding it on there. Uh, from here, I'm just pushing down on my planet stencil. I want the black underneath the wolf stencil to stay really rich in black. Um, so I'm preventing any overspray from getting underneath. Then I'm just going to really go in and brighten up uh, that moon so I have something to contrast the black underneath with lay down our plastic bag. This is covered in the beginner tutorials and uh, come back in with transparent white here. I've make, made the switch to Montana gold recently um, and this paint really, really works for adding light and space gas effects. Here, I'm gonna just do a little fine layer of like a dark gray. So this is not an actual black. I'm just gonna work on the gradient of my moon here. Then I'm gonna come in and just kiss the outside with that shadow line. This gives it a nice realistic effect. Uh, it's really gonna pop in the sky and look nice and smooth. Once we have this, you could let this layer dry as well for a period of time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my planet stencil. Keep in mind this video is edited, so I'm just taking out all the dead spots. If I'm doing something to the painting, you're seeing it on the screen, um, but I'm not painting this fast in real life. I'm letting layers dry here. I'm going to go in and cover pretty much the whole painting in black. Uh, there's one thing I kind of mess up on, which is not adding stars to the sky uh, while my planet stencil is on the canvas. Uh, I would go ahead and do that before lifting off your planet. I found a workaround for it uh, and made it work, but that's a step I kind of uh, messed the order up on this one, but no problem. Mistakes are easy to cover up, or if you uh, do skip a step, it's pretty easy to trace back. If you guys are watching the tutorial and finding this helpful, make sure you drop a like. It certainly helps the channel out. And uh, from here, we're gonna just pop our planet stencil off. I'm gonna go in with a nice mist. And this is basically just gonna be the brightness of that night sky moon, um, kind of backlighting the silhouette of our wolf here. I'm gonna make a little horizon line, some kind of fog rolling in in the distance. And once we add in the foreground uh, 
black here, it's really gonna make the difference between a night sky, kind of the mid ground, and that foreground really contrasts each other. So here I come in just to add a few stars to brighten up that stark bright sky. I'm realizing I don't want any over top of my planet stencils. Uh, there's my big head making an appearance like it does in every video. And that kind of took care of things there, so we saved it pretty well. I'm going to go in and slowly just peel off uh, this wolf stencil. And it looks pretty awesome there. Uh, with a ripped piece of poster board, I'm just going to go in, make a little horizon kind of foreground um, cliff or rock texture and I'm just gonna fill in another little spot here. Uh, for the bulk of it, guys, this is the main bit of the painting. Uh, I just made a touch up or two to the black underneath the wolf, and that's kind of the end result. Um, just bordering on stuff we've already done here on the channel. And I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it added something to your repertoire. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys again soon in a future tutorial.